the takeaway was from his interview with Candace, uh, Candace Wells is quite a character. She has told many different versions of this story. By a show of hands here, who has A lot. I know she didn't walk away from this property by herself or off this yard by her swing. I feel in my heart that somebody has came up here and took her has lured her away from here. Me and my mother and her were planting flowers. And we went in after we got done washing our hands and she got a piece of candy from grandma and she wanted to go back over and see her brothers. And I said, okay, and I walked her all the way over to the porch and I watched her walk into the kitchen where the boys were watching TV. And I told the boys, I said, watch summer I'll be back and within two minutes I came back and I asked the boys where their sister was and they said she went downstairs mom to play with her toys in the playroom I said okay and I yelled downstairs for her a couple times and I didn't get no answer which was unusual because usually she always answers me and so I went down there to check and she was nowhere in sight <laughs> And she was in there like, Summer, you want to do some flower planting and stuff? She jumped up. I asked for that, and he I've seen him jump up. She's like, pretty flowers? I'm like, yeah, let's go over to Grandma's and buy flowers. Trap flowers all we need. And so we did that, and I don't know, it took us a while. Probably 30, 40 minutes, 50 minutes, I don't know. We're not real fast people, we don't. Okay. And Summer, we got done, we washed our hands real quick, went in Grandma's house, and she has grandma for a piece of candy. She always does. Okay. You know, this grandma gives it to her. Sure. <clears throat> and she wants a piece of candy for grandma to give it to her. We were sitting there for about, I don't know, about 10 minutes, maybe at the moment. And she was no longer go back to the house with my brothers. I was like, all right. So I got up and I walked her back across to where I could literally see her walking to my doorstep. And I put my hand on the step like, hey, boy, walk some off me right back. And I had to go over and help mom. She was still sitting over there. And I had to go and get her meat break and fix it for her. So like, this is crap. Okay. I feel like five minutes, maybe two minutes, I don't know. Okay. I'm not a time person. Okay. okay. And next thing I know, I said, Mom, I'm going to go back home with the kids, chill and hang out, whatever. And I freaking asked her brother, where did your sister go? She was just right here with you. But she wanted to go play with the toys. I was like, Mom, I said, I think that's where our room is. That's where the toys are. And after about a second, I didn't hear nothing down there. I was like, you sure she went downstairs? They're like, yeah, Mom, she went downstairs. Okay. And my boys did not lie to me. And she didn't answer me. I said, Summer, are you down there? And she didn't answer me. So I ran down the stairs pretty much. I was freaking out. I was like, why is she not answering me? And I looked, and I was just went. I blew up. I went everywhere looking for her. I couldn't find her nothing. Okay. And then what happened? And she was just gone. Okay. She was just gone in the nowhere. And I started chasing the property, going everywhere I could. I sent, I sent my boys down to the, and we live on a hill, so it was down in the, down by the creek. Okay. I sent them all down through there, looking at everything. And I, they still, I said, still didn't find her? And they said, no. So I ran over and I called, I freaked out. I called Ronnie, because that's what I do automatically. I freak out, you know. You called Don. I called Don. I said, I cannot find Summer, come home now. He's like, call the cop. So I threw my phone down, back of his pickup, ran over to my mom, picked up her phone, because the only one that gets out there is AT&T. Okay. So I picked up her phone, I dialed her on, I said, I cannot find my daughter. Okay. And they sent people out, and I wasn't just gonna stand there and wait for them to send people out. Right. I jumped in my mom's truck, and I went down to, down the driveway as fast as I could. I went everywhere I could possibly think, every road which way. I didn't see no cars, I didn't see nobody at all. And I was like flipping out. I was like, I was a hot mess, so you call me. Boys are playing where? No, the boys are actually sitting here. Okay. And they're actually sitting right here at the table watching TV. Okay, so they're at the table yeah, watching TV. Them. Okay. They were all locked in. Nobody could get in. Nobody could get out. Okay. Kind of thing. Now, who's your son up here? 
That's my little sister that's missing. Oh, that's Rose. That's Rose. Where's Summer? Summer, she was with me. Okay, so tell, walk me through that. All right, well, we walked up in here and we got Josie, Wyatt, and Waylon, the boys. Right, well, you put the groceries down, right? Yeah, well, we went back out and then we brought the groceries and put them down. And then Mom, she went and took her stuff to her house and put her stuff away. Okay. And then, of course, me and Summer went back over to put our stuff away. Okay. You went back in? Yeah, me and Summer went back in the house. And then we were just doing normal stuff. Okay. Around the house like we normally do. And I come out, Mom was sitting there at the time I come out and I'm standing here. Okay. I was like, what are you doing? What are you staring at? She's like, these plants, I gotta get them transplanted. <laughs> I was like, well, uh, Summer will help us, so I went back in. I got, by that time, she was sitting on the floor playing with her toys. Right here? No, in the in the kitchen where we were just at. Okay. She was actually sitting on the floor playing with her toys at that time. I said, Summer, you want to help plant flowers? And she jumped out, left her toys in us, of course. That's cool. Yeah, we well, that's what here. kids do. It's their job. What? Okay. We Get. walked over here and we transplanted these cactuses from the little pots that they were in. And transplanted these ones here into this bigger pot and that one into that bigger pot. And she took the rocks that we've gotten from different gem mines when we went up to Gatlinburg and stuff. Okay. And she was taking, she's the one that spread all the rocks around in here. And then she put her puppies in here and she wanted to chase in there, you know. Okay. That was cool. Yeah. Where are those puppies now? What do you mean? What oh, the little puppies. The little, are ruined. Yeah, these little. Oh, yeah, those little guys. Oh, that's um, uh, Paw Patrol. Yep. Yeah, that's the police one. Yep, that's Chase. He's always on the case. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We oh, I see another one over yep. here. She put him in there. Yep, you're on the cactus. Okay, mm -hmm. don't don't take those out, okay? No, I leave them right there. I know. And then we went in my mom's where We can't get in there. Yeah, all, that's fine. Went but in there. We went in there and got some candy and stuff. She gets from grandma. Okay. And I said, well, I'm going to go back over to the house. She wanted to go back, so I said I'd go back, you know. Okay. And I brought her, I, walk, I literally walked over to here. Like literally walked right to here where I could see the boys and on the kitchen table. Got them. And I watched her walk in there. And afterwards, when she was already in there, I walked over and I said, why? And he looked at me and I said, watch Sissy, I'll be right back. And that's when I walked back over to my mom's. Okay. And I was fixing her brace and stuff like that. And I said, well, mom, I got to go back over with the kids. And that's when I come back up into the house. Okay. With the boys. Okay. Not you walked into the house. Well, I walked into here. It's a mess again. That's all right. But this is where Summer and little Waylon was, because Waylon's only nine. Okay. And they stayed down here. And these are all her toys, all her Paw Patrol, all, all her, her movies. She's got a movie about. The savior? The boys I brought back down here after she went missing because I didn't want them upstairs by oh, themselves. Anymore. Okay. And this is and all her toys. These are all her toys. All these toys that are down here are dang, they're all hers. Except for like the trucks and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and the game system. That's the boys'. Okay. But them are all her all her toys. And she's really into Paw Patrol. I see. Yeah, that. I've been collecting from day one. And these are all her little ponies that we've not bought. And then. These are them girls that she likes. Them new fashion, I don't know what they are, little princesses or whatever. She just likes all kinds. Of, here's one of them bracelets. Oh, that's just uh, one of them can What do they call these? Oh, this is a little pony bracelet. Yeah, I don't know what yeah. they were really called, but she liked them, and so I just, every time I go to the garage store, I'd buy her what she wanted. Okay. You know, whenever I got a little bit of money, I'd spend it on the kids. Yeah, this is her... Uh, uh, this is, I, I understand her now yeah. even better. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, um, this is really important. But yeah, I come down and I searched. I looked up underneath the beds under there. We can't really get on. I can't get on there. Yeah, yeah. But I looked under there, looked under every blanket I could possibly look under. Yep. And then I come over here and I looked, looked on one side of there and see it on one. And. I don't remember, I don't recall if this was locked or not. I okay. don't recall that. Okay. But I know she needs part of it. Because sometimes she'll sit right here and just sit here and play just for, you know.
and usually when she comes out she comes out and she goes directly that way up to the swing oh, okay so this is like her yeah she, just where she come running out yep. oh yeah you can see the path she here right, to the swing. right you can see where she could have run right, right up to and this here this is all the further she would go she wouldn't leave okay she wouldn't go nowhere else okay I want to go around this side. What is this blue thing here? Oh, that was, uh, we were putting, uh, trash in it. Okay. And we did have a trash man at the time, but he stopped running. Oh, wow. I gotta wash this. Okay, I'll be, uh, I'll, I'm gonna film around this side. Now walk me through, what's this little... She was just gone. I don't go on walks around here or runs because I'm scared of the bears and snakes. And even the coyotes that are around here. You can interrupt from 110, 110 Open Hill Road off of East Creek. Should be the first residence on your ride. Reference to a missing four-year-old. The parents have called in and advised that the mother had went for a walk, came home, now they can't find her. They've been yelling for her. She's been gone for about 10 minutes now. Well, whoever has my daughter, I pray and hope that they have not harmed her and they bring her back to us safe and sound. Just turn, I mean, go to the FBI, the police, and uh, clear it up. I mean, I don't know, it seems kind of elusive. It's really strange that I've never seen this truck, and I've never heard of it until just recently. But I wish they would come forward and explain themselves. And if you're not a suspect, at least come forward and say what you've seen. We knew, I knew right away that she was abducted. You know, I knew that right away, and that's what I told them from the beginning. But they have to, they have to go through their, you know, I forget the word. Investigation. They have to do one step at a time, I guess. But I'm sorry that they had to spend so many man hours in these woods and everything. I've seen them limping and everything else, you know, and I feel for them. But I just wish there was a way that neighbors could search neighbors houses and then if they're not willing you know get a search warrant or something but there's just no way you can search every single house you know in the eastern united states or whatever i'm sorry that you feel this way about us but we love our children with everything we have we've never went without thanks to summer's daddy and my husband He's always provided for us and has worked as much as he could and can and still is. And I'm sorry that you guys feel that way, but that's my baby and nobody would ever treat her like that as long as I was around, ever. When my sister came missing, I was in between you. Arkansas and Tennessee. I don't know all of what happened or what did happen. Even though the boys didn't Thank bring her to work, Candace has a sister that's been missing for about 10 years. One night, a couple nights when she was drunk, when it came around the anniversary for her sister's disappearance and her birthday, her mom was in tears all day long, all night long, and she kept looking at her mom. What's wrong? I said, you know what the age is. Oh. I'm, you ain't gonna find her alive. And I said, why would it? She goes, because the bitch is dead. I said, how do you know she's dead? And why would you call your sister? She goes, who well, says that? That's a deep statement. That's a deep statement, don't you think? But I hope that they find her too and bring her home safely too. Oh yeah, there's no, there's, Nothing. That, I mean, she disappeared without a trace. They haven't found anything. Haven't found a body. Nothing. And and you know, when you see cases like that, that's what, why I lose hope on summer. You know, I want to keep hope, but sometimes I just 
I, I, I just, I lose hope. Lose it.